Hi everybody, this is Gooey. I'm playing Go with us again. I've not made a video for a while. I've been really busy expanding into Wayworld and setting up houses and farms and getting enough wheat and stuff so I can build up some beacons. It took a long time because you start off with very limited resources. You've got to, you've got to work your way from scratch again pretty much. Um, I'm not sure where I was up to really in the last video, I think. Sorry, just collecting some belief. I think I got up to about here. This was the last beacon that I did in this opening here. Since then, I've planted loads of trees. Obviously, that gives you more belief. Or the bows generate belief quicker. I'll give you a quick tour anyway. I'm over here setting up some mines. I decided to actually expand to the north because there was a treasure temple up there which I have got to now which I'm in the process of constructing so I'll bring you a video on that as well um, yeah. oh yes we've got a star of earlier so gonna bring you a video on that soon as well got some big settlements going on got a really big patch of mines here on this Verdant land is it? I'm not sure. No, that's the one that you build farms on. Anyway, the other type of land. And I've just got up here, there's a patch of sacred land, is it there? Let me just double check Google, because I just found out what that was called. Hollowed ground it is. Um, and that's the treasure temple that I'm in the process of constructing. Five hours left, there's only one guy doing that, so I'm going to send some more guys up in a minute. As you can see, all this all that I'm going to be mining as well. So lots of videos coming soon. Need to unlock the comet to smash that granite, but it's not hindering our progress. Apart from here where I can't sculpt that land because the granite's on top of it. More on the hollowed ground. You're not actually able to build on this until you get the crazy monasteries unlock which is 2200 population that says at the bottom only monasteries may be built on hollow ground while monasteries produce no workers they do generate an awful lot of belief and there are other monasteries as well a bit further on three and a half thousand there i'm guessing that's slightly bigger or oh, generates more be belief and a grand monastery that's ten thousand so I've sculpted that flat anyway, so that's ready. I just need to expand the next beacon as well to uncover that little bit there that's missing. The purpose of this video was to show you guys how I build steps because loads of you ask, how do I build steps so perfectly? Like these steps here, but I don't think I do do them perfectly. I just build them and they end up being like that. But I'm going to show you how I do it anyway. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide. Maybe it can help you. So you can build some better steps. Also, I'd just like to point out that you can call this game Goddess as well. A lot of you say to me, why do I say Goddess? I don't know. It's where I'm from. That's how I say it. But you can say Goddess if you're American. And whatever else. However else you want to pronounce it, but each to their own. Potato, potato. So usually what I do when I'm building steps is start at the top and build the first step. So I use little taps, very, very slight little taps. And just get a feel for it and see what I'm happy with the shape. So I'm happy with that shape for the first step. I'm going to fill the ground out a little bit there. I do try to use straight edges like you can see there. Um, so I'm going to pull all the bottom ground out quite a lot because this is all going to be steps. So and this is going to be to get down to that hollowed ground down there for when I'm ready to build my first monasteries. So I'm going to try and build another step identical to that one, or very similar. I might bring them out in a round fashion. As you, it's it's. It's, there are ways, I always do step, usually do steps one swipe away from the one above it. 
if you know what I mean, one incremental expansion of the land. I think that's the best way to describe it. I'm not doing very well here, but... Like that. And... So I'm just going to do the same for the one below. Keeping up to that flat edge on the left there. I'll try and neaten it up probably as well when I've finished. So they're identical. Oh well, and a straight line on the right as well. Just going to keep bringing this out. Oh, so obviously you can rotate the uh, view as well now in the new update, which is good for constructing stuff like this if you want to get it perfect. can be tedious, but you just got to persevere. Obviously, if space is limited, you want to be making your steps as tight as possible so you can fit as many houses in as you, as you want. See, I'm happy with that there, where how it goes into a sharp point on the, the bottom left on that step. And I should be able to get that one above it to be the same well if I try hard enough. I'll try that in a moment. I'm just going to finish up these other steps. Just going to chop that up there. Bring this in. Right, so I've got the basic shape now that I want. I'm going to try and neaten this up a bit. Oh, Thank you for that. Didn't see that there. this and that's looking pretty flat apart from here where it's sticking out a bit. Oops, didn't mean to do that, didn't mean to do that, didn't mean to do that. Easily I'm done now. Hopefully. Right, that is that straight and now there's still a bit sticking out here. There we go. That is definitely straight. So we're going to work on this right edge now. That is straight. So hopefully I can neaten these steps up a bit and try and make the steps straight as well. It is tricky. It would be a lot easier on a PC. It's difficult using your finger to do this. I'm concentrating. So. Oh. No. Very, I'm doing very small flicks here, but it's not liking it. I usually do a little bit better than this. I think it's the pressure of YouTube videos. starting to look pretty similar. See, that's what I want, that point on each one of them, but I don't know if that's possible. Should be. Right, that's flat at the top. Maybe I need to make them a little bit longer. Can I push that out? No, it wants to come forwards. Yeah, I can make a flat square, but I have to make it bigger. So have I got room to do this? Possibly. Right, let's try this. Let's try and get it perfect. If we're going to do it, we might as well do it properly. Is that an Astari guy? I think he is. I've captured a few of their guys, just got to keep the happiness above theirs when they're having festivals and they will nick your guys and you can have theirs. I think I might go round on myself actually here and come out. Maybe go back on myself, I'm not sure, let's see what happens. with 
this. This is looking good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm going to bring this out. This video might be a bit longer than I originally planned. We're at 11 minutes already. I hope this is not boring you. But you did ask. Right. That is flat. So I need to bring just four floors up. Four levels. same in the other direction. Okay. So. Let's try and make a square step there. square as we possibly can. Can I make this corner a bit more indented? Yes. Perfect. Okay, I'm nearly happy with this. Maybe that first step is a bit too long, but I'm happy to leave it like that. Um, am I happy with that? No, not really. What do I want to do with this little step here? Ah, perfect. That will do. Okay. So, I'm happy with that. That looks good. Okay, so that's it for this video then. I hope you found this helpful and I hope it's maybe... You know, showing you guys how to make steps a bit easier. But just persevere. It doesn't take too long, and you don't have to do steps all that too, too often, to be honest. I mean, I've got that s set there, there's a set of steps there, there's a set of steps there, but these were all done when I first started the game. Got the pyramid of trees, or tree, a couple of steps. I have made a few steps the other day down here. They're not perfect, they're just following the natural shape of the land, those ones, but... Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'm going to be making a lot more videos soon on Godus because there's a lot of stuff that I've found and stuff like that. So, give this video a thumbs up if you did like it, and I will see you in episode 17, I think. Yes, episode 17. Thank you. Bye.